Good evening and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna be making turkey stew. Well, basically in Nigeria, when you make stew, you don't really use raw meat. You can use one or you can use as many as you like. So I'm making turkey stew, but I'm gonna add some fish to it, as you can see. So what I need for my turkey stew is my turkey, tomatoes, onions, and those condiments over there I'm just going to use to spice my stew. Alright, let's go. So for spicing, I'm going to use 2 tablespoons of my bouillon cube, 1 tablespoon of salt, and I'm going to use half tablespoon of nutmeg. One tablespoon of thyme and one tablespoon of curry. And I'm just gonna add a little water to it to kind of have it cook because you can see that my turkey is still frozen. So if I don't put water, it's gonna start burning before it starts even cooking. Alright, and I'm gonna cook this for about 30 to 45 minutes. Okay, see you later. So while my meat is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and blend my tomatoes. Okay guys, you guys can see that my meat has been cooking for about um, 30 to 35 minutes now and it's cooked enough. I don't want to cook all the nutrients out. And I'm going to transfer the meat to another uh, rubber and just um, fry it. I'm not actually going to bake this turkey, I'm going to fry it. So guys, uh, my pot, I'm going to add some canola oil to it, let's see, right there, and that is what I'm going to use to fry my stew. So first thing first, I'm going to um, add some onions. to fry my condiments alongside the fish too. I'm going to give it that distinct taste when you're eating it. Well, I won't let the onions be too fried because I want it to see the stuff when I'm eating it. So my tomatoes from earlier, I'm just going to pour it in there. So be careful at this point because tomatoes like to jump, like you can see. Alright, and if you want this to stop jumping, your meat sauce, you can just pour a little in there. That's your turkey sauce. Just pour it in. And cover it as soon as you can. Okay, guys, now that my stew has been kind of cooking for about um, 10 minutes to kind of have that uh, tomatoes just cook, and, uh, and when it cooks for that long, it cuts away the acidity. So, I'm going to put in my fried meat, and you can see I fried my meat and my fish already. So, I'm going to transfer them into the stew. So just um, I'm doing this uh, and let it let it cook for about five minutes. And why I'm doing that is for ha to have the stew cook, like get into the meat, so that when you eating the meat, it won't just um, when I say meat, I mean turkey. It won't just feel like um, it's just regular fried meat. Feel like you know it cooked through the stew. Okay guys, and this is my final product of my Nigerian stew, turkey stew, actually turkey and fish stew. So, and that's what it looks like. 
Okay, guys, this is the final product of the Nigerian stew, um, turkey fish stew that I made today. And this you can use to eat anything, but right now I'm going to demolish this one with a plate of rice and a glass of fruit punch. And um, thank you to all my previous subscribers. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. And um, please keep coming back to watch more videos. And if you like this video, please thumbs up and leave a comment below if you have a question. Thank you and have a good night. Bye-bye.